life of 33-year-old Kofi Ampoma has not only thrown the entire community of Adonfe into a state of grief and shock, but has also angered them. They believe the police allegedly butchered and manhandled him to death. The community is seeking one thing, that is justice. Today, we have come to the Adonfe community to speak to eyewitnesses, relatives, and also opinion leaders of this community on what they make of this development. Sympathizers and relatives sit in grief and could not hold back their tears. The death of 33-year-old Kofi Ampoma is still fresh on their minds. Diseased relatives want police officers who engaged in the act punished. <laughs> Mudukwasun <laughs> Atten train any Sebaya and Ukraine woman, any one monsoir, a yard, you know. I'll switch me be our say, I bind in my woman. A honour, you say, media me crown a whom you make us here. So, this is the exact place we are told the incident happened. The police officers chased the deceased and started beating him up using um, all sort of implements on him. That is what residents. Are saying happen, and I have a witness who saw it all to tell us what exactly he saw. What did you see? What I exactly saw is that that disease is known as Ampoma. He was being chased by two men. One was in uniform, but unidentified. The other was in mufti. Unfortunately, Ampoma fell down, and so I saw three men. They were all dressed in mufti and they grabbed him. The boy told them that he would never join their vehicle because he has done nothing wrong. So he came to this pole and get hold of the pole strongly. Because he was holding it strongly, they couldn't force him to the car. I saw it with my naked eye that one boy with a red shirt goes into their car. Police car, the police car. The police car. Mm. Yeah, there was a pickup, white pickup picked, uh, parked here. Brought a machete, the big one known as uh, Barantine. If I don't know whether you, do, you know it or not. And he struck him three times. He used, oh, he used go, the machete on him. Butchered him. That one, there was no cut. The boy fell down. And then the second one goes to the hand. I could see it with my naked eye. And as the boy fell down, they took a very heavy stone and they started uh, <coughs> hitting him with the stone at the head here. I was standing here, this exactly place. In fact, I couldn't help because as I see the boy crying, you want to spoil my eye? You want to, do you want to spoil my eye? I couldn't breathe. That's how he was shouting. I saw one of the boys spraying something like pepper spray into the eye and the nostrils. Of who? The disease? Of the disease. So I boldly went to the policeman and asked him, Abai, are you a policeman? Then he said, why? I, tell, I asked him, I couldn't see any identification because there was no tag. I couldn't see his name nor number. And he confirmed to me that he's a policeman. Where do you work? He said, Kwanongo Police Station. It took the intervention of the municipal chief executive for the Asante Akim South Municipality and other opinion leaders to calm down angry residents who were mobilizing to attack the police station at Konongo on Wednesday. They want police officers who committed the act to be investigated and brought to book. That's confused that were they armed robbers or indeed policemen. So we are appealing to the president that he should, he should brought all those people to book. He should brought all those people to book. 
chief of the area, Nana Adolfeje II, joined calls by his subjects for justice. So we are demanding justice that the police stop harassing the poor villagers. Now in what form do you want the justice to come? Oh, right now, uh, we haven't seen this before. So I don't know. But if the police, if the police who did that, if they are found out and uh, punished, and some form of compensation paid to the, the victim's family, that's what I want. I want the authorities to come here and speak to the people. The police commander, the DC, the regional command to come to this town and apologize to the people. Apologize to the people because this is unbecoming, very, very unbecoming. Policemen welding cutlass <laughs> in the public, you know, and, and disaster could have happened. A bigger disaster between uh, the police and the citizenry. And it was night to see a policeman welding cutlass, machete, welding it and attacking a citizen of the. Any, anything could have happened. I'm, I'm glad, I thank God, that nothing happened to those policemen. That would have bring a bigger catastrophe to, to this town, but thank God. So I want the police command to come here and apologize, speak to the people. Processes are also underway to conduct an autopsy on the body. Asante Akim South Municipal Chief Executive Alexander Frimpong is urging calm among residents of the area. Even though the community is very unhappy uh, and then saddened, uh, they are not that much, uh, I mean, mad against the whole police. It's a group of people that came that they are mad at, at them. As far as the right things are done, I believe very well that, I believe very well that they, 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 they will be able to bring them together. What we are already, we are making sure that that is why it could have been worse. What you, you saw today, it could have been worse. Yesterday, the crowd and uh, what they wanted to do, that is why we, we prevented all that, so that uh, we don't get in, into a worse situation, so that bringing them back together will be difficult. The community, if you spoke to the community, they appreciate the role that some of the police, uh, especially the, the, some of the superior, police, uh, the superior officers have performed, except that they are not happy with the nine who allegedly came to the community, and I mean allegedly committed, if I should call, the act. So it is only, they are only uh, not happy about the nine people. It's not only the whole police system. But their confidence in the police and their confidence in the system will depend on the outcome uh, of the investigations that will, that will come. They have made it clear to me that for now they are trusting me. For now they are trusting us. They are trusting the state institutions. But uh, it is a resource, the end, uh, that, will, that can confirm their trust. And I just want to, that is why I'm assuring them that everything that we are doing is transparent. We have involved them in everything that we are doing from the start. We will continue to involve them and make sure that they know whatever is going on and so that in the end, we'll be able to bring the police and the community together. The Ashanti Regional Police Command has, however, interdicted three of the police officers accused of killing the man. ASP Godwin Ahiano is Ashanti Regional Police Public Relations Officer. The Regional Police Commander quickly invited the Divisional Commander to parade the officers uh, before him. And this morning they were brought into the command and immediately uh, the Regional Commander commenced investigations by tasking the Commander of the Police Professional Standards Bureau to investigate the conduct of the officers. 
after listening to the officers, he also ordered their interdiction so that uh, they will allow or uh, give room for an independent investigation into uh, the incident. So as we speak, um, they are on interdiction and they will be assisting in investigation. Anytime that they are needed, they will be calling and they will have to come to the command to give further statement. Uh, I might also say that there were nine officers that went to the area, but six of them were at a different location and the three were at the scene where the incident happened. So it was later that they went into the, or to the area to uh, assist their uh, colleagues to get the two arrested. But unfortunately, we lost Kofi and Ponsa 36. Uh, all that I can say is that we just assure the general public that an independent body has been constituted to investigate the matter. And whatever the outcome is, we'll let the public know. So they should just bury the command and that they should be rest assured that nothing on uh, will happen and whoever is found culpable. If it so happened that our men did not do their work well, whatever a sanction that is supposed to be taken will be taken against them. It is still a moment of grief for the family and relatives of the 33-year-old uh, who was allegedly butchered by police officers from Konongo. For them, one thing is sure, they want government to investigate this matter and bring police officers who perpetrated the act to book. They say justice is only what they are seeking. Reporting from Adonfe in the Asante Achim South District of the Ashanti region, I am Hafiz Tijani for City News.